equal to yes sir for we are uh, using some function na so that time we are binding mm. yeah mm. i know i want to know the reason for that mm. reason means binding is just return a new function so i think okay. this is the um, okay we cannot uh, reuse the component i think uh, not exactly but no. okay okay that's all from the angular side let's uh, dive into some um angular question uh, angular. in last two years you are not working on angular right yes sir okay then like that uh, okay uh, have you do you have knowledge on es6 yes sir okay so what is the difference between arrow function and normal function yes arrow function uh, when we uh, we can say first of all a normal function uh, for uh, we are giving a function uh, keyword function name apart from the syntactical difference can you please uh, tell me the uh, business logic difference means the logical difference that it has um, business logic it is a, a lack of code we are using arrow function i already told you apart from the syntactical difference the main functional difference i want to know Function. okay nice uh okay uh, let's uh, go into some coding i am giving you a url just uh, redirect to this url Okay, on the JavaScript side, create a variable uh, with an array of objects. Any type of object you may use. I ask you, array of objects. array of objects assign this to that yes. variable i have sent you on the chat so why it's not taking us back go to the chat i have already sent you this is still not correct So your task is basically to create a new array from this array that will hold the unique objects only. Here you can see there are three objects. Uh, the email property of those objects has the email, and in this three object, two object has the same email. Okay, so you have to uh, remove the duplicate object. means ultimately i mean to say it will return this one i have sent you on the chat again this will be the output the unique 
depending upon the email. Did you get my question? Yes, sir. So that time we are using uh, a dot set method. Uh, you just need to show me the output. Write your code console log dot that one, so it will appear on the console side. So we can use Should we jump to the next question? Okay, sir. But I okay. through the set method we are using that is constructed. No, you cannot use the array of object inside the set to find out the duplicate one. Okay. Uh, the next one, basically, uh, mm -hmm. um, you could... Just a second. Okay, uh, create a new variable like this. Let's just use this one. I have gave you on the chat and uh, you need to do copy this and paste it on your JavaScript panel. Okay, <clears throat> this is the simplest question. 
uh, what you have to do you have to basically convert this string to a new string with all the last character of the words in uppercase okay means it will give you the hello world but the o of the hello will be in capital letter and the d of the word will be in capital letter if i replace that string with another string like my name is ram then it will again do the same thing the y of the my will be capital e of the name will be capital means all the last character of the words will be converted into a capital letter did you get my question mm, yes sir Want means the O and O is in capital letter, and D is also in capital letter. Yes, all the last character of the words will be converted into a capital letter. You have to write your logic, your code in such a way so that the string means you have to basically work on the string to get convert into that one. Did you get my question now? Sir, you want reverse also? No, no. I don't want to reverse. My basically output, the required output will be this. I have sent you the required output on the chat. You can see for the reference purpose. Mm -hmm.
ये शादी कैपिटल में आ गया ये जो हॉल let's move to the next one again okay uh, yeah uh, okay uh, these are um, uh, okay so your coding round basically complete just uh, logical questions that i will basically send you on the chat you just need to tell me the output okay go to the meet again yeah yeah so the first question is uh, this one okay so look into this code snippet and tell me the output Zero to nine. Okay. One okay. Next one is consider this code and tell me the output for that. Thank you. 
Yes, yeah, sorry. Sir, minus twelve. Are you dot ten to equal to zero and a zero at state to zero minus twelve? So it will return min uh, minus twelve, right? Okay. Okay. Now consider this code. <coughs> Declared not initialized, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we are using ternary operator, no? so B is equal to A. So A minus one here. Okay. So it will return undefined, right? B is undefined. Okay. Means the next line, the console log B. So it will basically print undefined, right? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, okay, uh, that's all Subhi, from my ends. Okay, uh, so uh, we will forward our feedback to the HR and the HR will definitely get back to you. Okay, thank you for your time. Yeah, you. bye.